Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce the use of the radical two. So let's begin. The first one is e. E itself, this character is radical two. So basically, we just press two. Here you go. And the next one is j. Two radicals. Um, we have slash nine. And counterclockwise curve as two here, so that's how you type it. And the next one, it's kind of complicated, but let's do it step by step. Okay, so the first radical you can see is a nine nine. What do what do I mean by nine nine? Nine is a slash, so we write it like slash and six dot dot and slash. So, the first radical of this character is nine nine. Okay, so after nine nine, what you write is a five, which is a clockwise curve, and then a dot, a six. So you press five six. And the next one is a lid, that's seven, lid seven. Okay, so we've done three radicals. We don't have to care about the rest. We go to the last one. The last one is a counterclockwise curve. That's why I'm introducing this character. So we press two here. Okay, and the next one is G. Okay, so let's look at the left part. That's a two eight. Because it begins with counterclockwise curve two, and end with two dot eight, so that's two eight. And after that, you write two six, which is there are four of them in this character. So two, two six. So we press two six, and then we press two six again. And then we go to the last one. The last one is two, which means counterclockwise curve. Here, okay. All right, and then the next one is Xiang. It begins with two counterclockwise curve. And then the next radical is two nine, because you write with. Counterclockwise curve and then the slash. And the next one is a dot six. Okay, so we've done three radicals. We go to the last one. The last one is we call ear in Chinese character. And ear is five three because it begins with a five clockwise curve and end with a vertical line. So five three here. Continue. We have mean. Okay, so the first radical of mean is five one. Um, clockwise curve five, and horizontal line one. After five one, we write counterclockwise curve, which is two. And then we write the third radical. Is horizontal line one. Okay, the last one, once again, counterclockwise curve. There you go. Okay, the next one is fan, two radicals. The first radical, counterclockwise curve. And the rest, of course, the dot, six, here. All right. The next one, toe. The left part is hand, so we press nine four, because you can see hand here begins with um, slash nine and end with cross. So nine four is hand. So after nine four, we have the right upper corner. That's a radical two counterclockwise curve. So we press two. 
and then the rest is a five eight, five clockwise curve, and eight backslash. Five, eight, here. Right. Next one, two radicals, one six and two, one six as horizontal line, the first stroke one, and then two, six. So we press one six, and the rest is counterclockwise curve. Here. Okay, the next one. Uh, one, two, three. Three radicals. First one is a lid. Seven lid. After seven lid, we have zero mouth. And the rest, the two strokes, one, two, they are counterclockwise curve. So we press two here. All right, the last one. Um, the last one. Um, is exception. So, the last one, the radical, is zu, which is foot. It, it's an exception, so we put it here at radical two. And after that, you write the right upper corner, which is a nine eight slash. And end with backslash, so that's nine eight. And the last one is a mouth, zero. All right, that's all for the use of the radical two. Thanks for watching.